Hey, it's professional bull rider Matt Bohan, and you're watching Press Pass TV. Hey, I'm Morgan Page. Thanks for joining us at Press Pass TV. With gas hitting record prices almost daily, manufacturers and consumers are looking to alternative energy sources to power their vehicles. Enter Milner Motors Prototype Electric Car, an energy efficient, environmentally friendly, and very stylish new hybrid electric car. Check it out. We started off about three years ago with the idea of building a flying car. I've been thinking about that forever. So we spent a year doing the engineering work and the designing of the, of the air car, which you can see here. And very early on in that process, it occurred to us that while we were building a vehicle that needed to be aerodynamic and lightweight and strong enough to drive on the highway, we should also build an electric car. So within the first six months, we had decided to build not only the flying car, but the electric car. In January of 06, we started building the actual prototypes, and we've been working on these for two years now. Now, this is our electric car, which has the same body as the air car. It has, uh, you charge it up at night, uh, and it will run 100 miles on battery power, and that handles most of everyone's driving needs. If you need to drive more than that in a day, it will have a small gas generator that when it senses that the batteries are getting low, will turn on and charge the batteries while you're driving. So it's completely an electric vehicle with a, a gasoline charger on board. It'll have a standard features of, uh, it has two uh, computer monitor panels in the front, one will be, uh, a half of one will be the rear view mirror system. We won't have any outside mirrors. We'll have 200 degree ver uh, rear cameras that will show on the top half of the instrument panel. So there's no blind spots like there are in existing cars. Over here is the small, is the motor. This unit, this unit is uh, two 48 volt DC motors that put out a total of 40 horsepower for five minutes and 16 horsepower continuously. That vehicle needs uh, seven horsepower to go seven, to go 60 miles an hour on level ground. So we have plenty of power. This is a continuously variable transmission uh, and it is, powers the chain down to the differential. And then these are the, uh, attached to the axles that go right to the wheels. So this unit weighs 85 pounds and it uh, provides plenty of, plenty of power for us. We've been driving the electric car, uh, and this is about our sixth version of these motors, but I think we're getting close to having a good unit that will drive. Right now we're using lead acid batteries, but once we have the motor unit uh, finalized, then we, well, we've already started talking to people, companies, about lithium ion batteries. We expect the batteries to weigh about 150 pounds, um, and the total uh, weight of the vehicle will be 1250, batteries and motor and vehicle. Now, how do you feel once you're in one of these cars driving on a regular road? Is, how, how different is it? It's pretty exciting because people, people can see that there's some potential here. The vehicle itself is very stable. The tires are farther out than normal cars and, and longer than the average car. The, both vehicles are as long and as high as a Toyota Camry or a Honda Accord. They're not quite as wide. So, but with that length and that height, there's room for crashworthiness, safety, and, but it's a very stable vehicle. We've driven this about 65 miles an hour is the fastest speed so far, but it's very stable, very sure-footed. Now, how much would one of these cars go for on a regular market? Well, I'm hoping for less than $30,000. My son thinks less than forty. dollars It's really a function of the battery costs. And battery costs are coming down quite a bit. They're, they're half of what they were a year and a half ago. So, and a lot of people are working on lithium-ion batteries for automotive purposes. So I can envision this being in the mid-20s, 25,000. Really? Well, this is a, a totally an electric operation. And once you get rid of the gasoline engine, you get rid of a lot of weight. And this will weigh about half of what a Prius has. My wife has a Prius. She likes it. Uh, but this is a lighter vehicle, and so it needs less horsepower. It's more aerodynamic. And it doesn't need the gas engine, except for charging. Hope you enjoyed that story, and if you want to check out more behind-the-scenes action, log on to PressPass.tv or YouTube.com slash PressPass. And if you want to listen to our live or podcast radio shows, log on to PressPassRadio.com. 
I'm Morgan Page. Bye.